What's going on, everyone? Welcome back. I hope everybody's having a great day. Guys, i got a cool one for you today. This is neat because, it again, it looks like something's been thrashed about, buried in the ground, been there for some time, right? What I'm talking about is Sol 2797, and it's from the left nav cam. Let me show you what I'm talking about. And you can see it is from the MSL, which is a Curiosity rover. And you can see the description right below the photo. It says, this image was taken by left navigation camera on board... NASA's Mars Rover Curiosity on Sol 2797. And of course, it's uh, June 19, 2020. Now, I don't buy that for one minute. I believe these have been doctored up. And there's, uh, from what I understand, other people have done these. They're like almost 30 days behind. Uh, gives them plenty of time to edit, look at the photos, edit them, do whatever they got to do to them, right? The image credit goes to NASA, JPL, and Caltech. Now, somebody had this photo on Facebook and they were looking at this and they were right over here. They were talking about some kind of what looked like a woman or something. Some people said it looks like it's looking at the rover. Some people say it's looking away from the rover. Uh, so there's different people, you know, talking about it, right? Uh, and then they said something about it looks like it has like an animal right next to it and so on and so forth. Now, you know me, guys, I don't really see people, but I actually zoomed into that just to see what would happen. Um, and I'll show you more up close uh, once we get into Photoshop, because what we're going to do is we're going to not only bring up the exposure, but we're also going to take the shadowing away. So we do two different ways to try to bring out this stuff, right? What I noticed right off the bat was this middle right here. Not in the background there on that other hill, supposed hill. But right here, I was just like, what is going on with this photo? I saw this what looked like a rectangle or something that's white laying right here on the ground. All right, so let's jump into Photoshop and take a closer look, shall we? Here it is right here, and we can zoom into this now because we have made it much bigger. Now, this is the one they were talking about. I'm not sure what to make of this uh, right here. Um, I don't, I'm not sure what's going on here. Let's go ahead and brighten it up. I guess if you looked at it from a distance and didn't bring it up, I mean, this could be the girl's hair right here. It's in some kind of, uh, got her hair up or something like that. And I don't know if this is the body. And then they said, it looks like this right over here looks like some kind of animal. Now I'm looking at this guy I'm going, uh, maybe I'm blind and I don't see this. Now I'm not taking nothing away from these people because they strongly believe that's what it is. What caught my eye again is this area right here. Okay, again, this is what it looked like. And guys, I didn't even really have to do much to this photo. This is the raw photo here. Again, being dark and everything else. But check this out. This is neat. Now, what I saw is this piece here going up, going across, and then back down. But it also has an edge to it. See this? And it has other lines going like this. And you'll see what I'm talking about. It like, literally comes out like this here, right? This piece here. And it has a side to it here. Something coming straight out of it and up. But take a look at the small pieces. Not very clear right now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to dock in any lines that are there. And we're going to bring up the brighter areas, right? Now we have pieces here on the left. Looks like some kind of round circle with a black dot or feature in it. And this area right here. This is interesting. Looks like shiny pieces. You got all the different pieces sticking out. You can see what looks like parts going off in different directions. You can see what looks like one, two, maybe a third round piece of something protruding out from the top of this thing. Yeah, much, much more in here. Let's get into this much deeper, shall we? All right, so what I did on this first one is I brought up the exposure. So this is what it looks like here. Again, zoom in, and you can start to see this. Again, all I did was just brought up the exposure, guys. That's all I did. Look at the parts now. You can almost see something doing this. Goes up like this, comes back down, and has what looks like these long pieces on it. Like, almost like step kind of thing. And I mean, goes up and then comes back down. You guys see that? Right there. But take note of the one, two. You got pieces that branch off of this thing. What look like rectangular parts. Right? Because it's not very clear. Small pieces like right here. Okay? Let's get into this even further. So what I do is I balance this. You can go right into shadows and highlights. And what it does is it balances out the photo where you can get rid of the dark areas and then the light, is, the light areas you can bring down, right? Now what we're going to do is we're going to jockey back and forth. And what we're going to do is we're going to look at these parts, look at any lines, and watch what happens. I'm just going to bring out the darker spots. So now these parts will be more defined, as you can see. Again, anything that's dark in between these parts are now darker. And anything that's white... Or lighter color will also be lighter, right? Again, take note of this piece down here. Okay? Now, let's keep going. 
Again, things that are white, like this. These smaller pieces here. One here, as well as one here. And you can see them. One, two, three, four. Now, I think I only brought these two out here. Yeah, but there's actually two more. There's one right here, one right there. You guys see that? You can see there's one, two, three, four. But, again, look at the parts. All right. Let's go back into it. Keep going. Notice the other part down here. Coming up, going like this here. And look at the other parts here. Something like this here. Going like that. Going like this here. And again, most of these pieces here, right here. Now this stuff here, you can see this is absolutely something intelligently made. I can see that with ease. We got something that looks like a line here, something doing this. Kind of going like this here. But the parts on here is what got me, right? See, like there, this thing is white and whatever it is, it's caved in. Looks like we got sheet metal laying over here, right? Again, you can see that. Twisted up metal. You can see other parts here, as I said. Here's another interesting piece. Looks like something doing this here. Going like that. Has some shiny piece right there. And just look at this, some of the stuff that's in here. It's just crazy. Here. Right? And like I said, I'm seeing what looks like some kind of weird details or parts on top of this. You see all of these right here? Now this could be like broken parts that are on top of this thing. I don't know. What do you guys think? Let's go ahead and do this. Let's put some filters in, a yellow and blue filter. Okay. You guys tell me what you see. I'm seeing what looks like something buried. There's something catastrophic happened in this area, as we already know on Mars. But as you can see, you can see these pieces. Look at this. Here. You got pieces that look like this here. Okay. Another piece here. Looks rectangular, this white piece. And all of these other parts right here. What do you guys suppose this stuff is? I'm seeing, again, mechanical parts. This is only my opinion. You guys may differ from that. Again, I'm seeing what looks like something that's totally catastrophic. Something definitely happened to this, this uh, area. Totally decimated. Uh, there's something else on this hill here, but I can't even pull that out. But you can see they've done something right here. Right there. It's just crazy what you can find in these things. And I think people need to start really scrutinizing these things. Um, there's something over here. Look at down here. Just, just again, study the ground. Look at the littlest things you may find here. It doesn't look like, you're, like, a, like a ground you'd expect to see, right? It's like pieces that are laying all over the place. There's something back here. I'm not sure what to make of that. Right? And I've always questioned this flat white area, right? This this area right here, the whole area. I've always questioned that because everything seems to be so flat, almost like a road. See, like that, or something that was concrete or cement. Now, I'm not saying this can't be absolutely layered rock. Of course it can, right? We all know that it can be. Um, but it's just weird how it just happened to be almost perfectly flat going across. We have these two lines right here. Now, of course, this is maybe just the way it runs, but check this out. It literally runs right over here. What are we seeing here? This ground is far too flat. Now, again, I'm not saying this can't happen in nature, but it always seems like you always see these white areas. They look almost completely flat, except with the exception of some rocks or some other things in the photo, right? Um, here. There's little parts right here. I don't, don't know what to make of that. There's like one, two, three little details on that. Um, I don't know. Have you guys noticed that too? I mean, again, you see the ground, and it looks like it's always flat, like this, like it's a, been a roadway, some kind of flat ground like it's been built on. I don't know. Way in the back here. Notice the lines up here. And you see something going like this. This is coming down like this. I mean, can the ground do that? I mean, or is it something that's been... Like, covered up? I would say covered up. See this? 
just just the parts in here just the just really weird anomalies you can see this piece right here as well right look at these two pieces sticking out one two right there like boom boom looks like it's got pieces coming down can you see that right there now if i pull back out of this photo zoom out i see debris i see something intelligently made it's been buried and it's been like that for some time of course we don't know how much of this is actual rock up here and just parts that have been skies to look like rocks we don't know right like up here right but i'm seeing nothing but parts scattered all over the ground here guys look at this i'm sorry again i live in a mountainous area and i don't see stuff like that i just don't something way down here what has looks like that t-shaped object right there see that Again, this is the original photo. This is what caught my eye. There you go, guys. Tell me what you think. Guys, what are you seeing in this photo? Do you see something different than me? Now, chances are you guys will discover more things than I do. Um, some of you guys will say, oh, how come he's not seeing the obvious? Well, I did see the obvious. That's the thing. I, I look at things and I see them, I lock on them, and I, and I just don't deviate away from them. I enhance them and then I make the video and then give it to you guys to examine as well. So you guys will find more things than I have, which is good. It lets everybody get into this photo and have a closer look. And if you've got any photo enhancing software, that's awesome because now you're really getting into this, right? Tell me what you guys think. What are you seeing? I'm seeing something that's intelligently made. It's clearly halfway buried in the ground. We can see parts scattered all over the place. But again, guys, we should not see this kind of detail from a planet that, you know, NASA claims millions upon millions of years ago, there was no life whatsoever. And I don't buy that. With the wind, when you have dirt, like a sandblaster beating on something after so many years, it has to be disintegrated. It, it should come apart. You should see nothing but smooth out areas. Or, at very least, no corners, right? And yet we do. We see very defined parts and things that are there. Now, it's not the clearest photos because you're not supposed to see them, right? There you go. Anyway, guys, drop your comments below. Let me know what you think. As always, you guys get the last say. Please like and share. It is appreciated. And don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you like what you're seeing. And if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, don't forget to subscribe and hit that little notification bell on the right-hand side so you'll be notified of any new videos coming up. Again, guys, drop your comments. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Always appreciated. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Hi, this is Billy Carson, and welcome to ForbiddenKnowledge.tv. This is a new streaming network with shows for the entire family, new cooking shows, workshops and lectures from around the world, incredible nature documentaries, science shows that will take you on a journey through the universe and then to wormholes and back down to the smallest quantum states of atoms. Watch Knowledge for Ascension episodes by speakers you know and love. Learn more about your avatar body and how to maximize yourself in the third dimension. Explore your multidimensional self. Explore the nature of our reality. Could we be living in a fractal holographic matrix? And what does that mean for humanity? Delve deep into the mathematical codes that help to create our reality. Watch meditation and yoga videos designed to help you discover the true divine nature of your soul. Explore super ancient text, glyphs, and cuneiform tablets from around the world. Learn their hidden meanings. Tour megalithic structures and watch original, never seen before footage. Is there a ruling elite watching and ruling over humanity? Watch shows designed to elevate human consciousness. Tour the world with Billy Carson and discover amazing wonders. Do we have a secret space program? And if we do, who is behind it all? At ForbiddenKnowledge.tv, you get three days totally free. ForbiddenKnowledge.tv is enlightenment through entertainment.